Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Smart Boat tool in Anime Studio. Tutorial. With the Smart Bone tool you are able to save animations into a bone. If you don't know what bones are I have a previous tutorial where I explain that and I put a link of that tutorial at the end of this video. But anyway if you are already familiar with that uh, let's get started. So as you can see I have uh, drawn a character on the screen, a head. I have put it into a bone layer and I made different layers for the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose and so on. What I want to do is I want to animate the eyebrows. I'm just going to move the eyebrows a little bit higher so it looks like he's scared or something. And I also want to make an animation where he gets a angry look. So how we are going to do that? Well, first we are going to the bone layer and then I'll take the add bone tool and I'll just draw a bone right here. And then I'll take the bone string tool and I'll reduce the strength of the bone to zero. Then you are going to bone right here and click on make smart bone dial. Now you can give it a name and since we are going to animate the eyebrows, I'm going to name it Eyebrows. You can leave the rest as it is, click OK. Now what you see, there are two different actions created on the action panel. Uh, the first action, uh, we are on a new timeline by the way right now. And on the first action, if you move on the timeline you see that the bone is moving to the left if you go to the second one eyebrows 2 and you move to the timeline it moves to the right so what we are going to do is we are going to put animation uh, between frame 0 and between frame 100 and I'll start with the first action and you move the bone right here or you move right here on the timeline where the bone is has moved to the left and then you go to eyebrows then I'll select these eyebrows and I'll move them just a little bit higher like this so if I go back to the main line and I go to the bone layer take the manipulate bones tool and I move the bone to the left you see that the eyebrows are moving with it they are going above so now he has a look like he's getting scared of something so now I also want to make him look uh, angry and I want to do that with moving the bone to the right so you go to this action where the bone is moving to the right I go right here take the eyebrows and I'll zoom in for this one a little bit so it looks so you can see it better and I'm going to give him, him a angry look right now I'll move it a little bit here that move it a bit here there we go so if I go back and I zoom out go to the bone layer take the manipulate bones tool and move it right here you see he gets a angry look so now we have saved these animations into a smart bone and of course this doesn't only apply for the eyebrows you there are endless possibilities with this. You can, uh, for instance, uh, use a smart bone for a pupil. You can move for moving the pupil, pupil to the left and to the right. Or the mouth, you can get the mouth open or closed. You know, whatever. You can do anything with it. And this will save you a lot of time because you don't have to do uh, these animations uh, over and over again. You All you have to do is save them into this smart bone. And then all you have to do is moving the bone and everything will work on itself. 
So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys learned a lot about this and I hope to see you in the next video. If you like this video and you want to learn more about Anime Studio, then please subscribe to this channel. I put weekly tutorials on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I also make animations myself. I upload them within one or two months, so if you're interested, you can watch those too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.